Meg did such a great job explaining magnesium and all the benefits of that. So I wanted to get her back and talk about something that's really important for us. And that is grass fed, grass finished meat. I'm so, so particular on what Lander eats. And that is a really important factor for in, in anything we're considering. So with the bison, the grass fed, grass finished, we went and saw that operation. Wanted to bring Meg in to talk more about the importance of that as well as the omega-3 and omega-6s and what all that really means because it can get confusing. So I'm going to hand this off to her and see what she has to say. So I am tickled to do a recipe with this ground bison. First because this is such a lean protein but I know the source is 100% grass fed, grass finished. And that's what we're gonna talk about. First, I'm gonna add this bison to a little bit of spices that I already have in a bowl. We have a little bit of cumin, we have allspice, salt, white pepper, and then cinnamon. So we're gonna mix this together and we're gonna make a little beef kebab. What's really cool about the grass fed label is that the lips of this animal have only been eating the grass, the hay, the forage in its natural habitat. First I'm going to show you guys that we're going to make these little meatballs. So you're going to take that, skewer that on, we'll do another little one, put that on as well, and then you can kind of mash it together so then you have this bison kebab. We're going to throw these on the grill. I'll make the rest of them, and then we'll see how they turn out. We just put the kebabs on, and they're going to cook for about eight minutes. And so we were talking about grass-fed, why that that's important animals that are grain fed, they get a processed mix of wheat, soy, and corn, which is not natural to them. And most of the time, they have to go to a small area to be able to eat. And being in that small area with those big animals, it stresses them out. And what happens when you're stressed out? You're going to increase a hormone called cortisol. These animals that are gra uh, grain fed usually are already going to be given other hormones and antibiotics, so we're adding another hormone on top of it since so it's going to be high. And so when you're in a high stress environment, you're going to increase that blood pressure, increase, increase the heart rate, increase your blood sugar, and also decrease your insulin, which causes a big problem and can open the door for diseases. Grass fed meat, you can see the difference. Actually, when you look at meat that is grass fed, it typically has like a orangey yellow tint to it and it's darker. That's because it's really high in beta carotene. And beta carotene is an antioxidant that gets transformed into vitamin A. So it's high in beta carotene, high in vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, other minerals, and it's two to four times higher in omega-3s. Let's talk fatty acids. So we need to have essential fatty acids. Why is it essential? Our bodies don't make them on their own. We have to eat food to be able to have them. And if we don't, we become deficient and get sick. So two main fat, essential fatty acids are omega-3s and omega-6 and they both play a role with inflammation. Omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. Omega-6, pro-inflammatory. So what happens there, we might, yes, you're saying, why do we want inflammation? Well, that's just a natural defense that our bodies have to have to fight off any kind of injury or illness or sickness. So we need a little bit, but we have to find a good balance. What happens right now is with our SAD diet, the standard American diet, SAD, those foods that are super processed or that um, are high in oils like safflower, safflower oil or sunflower oil, soybean oil, corn oil, that should ring a bell. Ding, ding, ding. Remember, that's what those animals are eating when they're grain fed. They're getting that soy, that corn, which means it's really high in omega-6. So. When you have those that are grass fed, you have these omega-3s. So you're getting that inflammatory fighting benefit, which actually 
decreases your risk of cancer, decreases your risk of diabetes, decreases your risk of obesity, decreases your risk of heart disease. And right now they're showing that it really helps with mental health, especially in anxiety, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia. So foods that are high in omega-3s, of course, are um, enriched eggs, but my favorite is wild Alaskan salmon. It is really rich, and how do you know? Remember, it has that orange tint to it. Other seafoods that are really high, mackerel and mussels and oysters. And it just so happens you can get all of those things that we know are clean and packaged and processed in a healthy way right here at Lander's Corner. Sometimes though, you might not be able to eat the foods to give you those omega-3s, so you might need a supplement. Some of those foods people just don't eat. You might be a vegan or vegetarian. The dietitian will be able to help you find supplements that are vegan based, that are made from algae or creel. And guess what? They happen to be here right at Lander's Corner too. And so if you do eat meat, one simple change that you can make is to make sure that your meat is 100% grass fed, grass finished, and you will be getting those omega-3s that you need. So I bet this is ready. So we're gonna take these and put them on this platter. And what we're laying this on top of is a really quick tabbouleh that we used plums right here from me and McGee, the parsley and also cucumbers, which it's normally made from tomatoes, but guess what? The plums give it the sweetness and also really pretty in color because we like to eat with our eyes. You mix that with a grain, I use quinoa, and then toss in a little bit of lemon, garlic, and of course, olive oil. And right now, this is just a yummy plate and an easy way to eat this delicious bison. All right, what I, what I feed my kids, especially Lander with everything he's gone through is extremely important to us. And this is one of the things that I hope we can share with y'all and you can try with backed by somebody that is trained. She's got all the credentials and I guess a dad that's just trying to take, take care of his little ones. All right, try it guys, let's see what you think. Thanks for watching everybody. Camera, you gonna try it? <laughs>